Hey from Mike Strong here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to process a GoPro Fusion 360 video for YouTube. So we are going to render it inside of Premiere Pro. However, the first thing we need to go to GoPro Fusion Studio. Here we have the video footage already loaded in. And the main thing is you want to change the color to flat. And another thing is you want to pre-trim it inside of GoPro Fusion Studio. The main thing is that stitching it inside of this program takes quite a long time. It's not uh, like an instant thing. So you want to uh, actually trim it down to what you want and then add it to render queue. So the main thing with it stitching, it takes quite a long while because for me on my 5K iMac with like the high spec, it will still take about 12 minutes per minute to render. So on and also comparing it with a slower uh, computer, I have also a MacBook Pro from 2013 with the high specs and that would take about an hour per minute. So that is going to take a quite long while. So personally, that is the only biggest issue with using the GoPro Fusion Studio. And I really wish they, uh, yeah, stitch it actually directly inside of the camera itself, which would be nicer instead of having this extra program you need to use. So we have changed the color to flat and now we can add it to render queue. So once added to render queue, press here on top to render and press the footage. And here we can change the codec. So the main thing is change it to Cineform. Uh, mainly for that is an uncompressed file and also uh, be pretty much the highest quality. So why not ProRes? Uh, because Cineform actually works both on Windows and on Mac. Of course, choose the highest resolution to stereo and dwarp on and then press render selected and it will render it out. So we have already rendered the footage and already loaded it into Premiere Pro. So here we have actually the VR uh, yeah, look here. So to turn that on, you want to press this plus button. Here you have this icon, drag it into this section here below and then you will have this button to toggle between VR and the normal footage. So I've already loaded a logo into here so you can see here on the bottom I've got my Shongda logo inside. So to do that actually I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So here we have my logo just drag it here onto the clip so we can see it's actually here and we are going to effects so once you have installed GoPro Fusion Studio it also installs a few plugins inside of uh, Premiere Pro so you can find inside of video effects GoPro VR and you see like VR horizon VR layers and reframe so for adding a logo or text onto your uh, VR video and you want to move it around, you need to use VR layers. So drag this onto here. What it does, it has these parameters here. You have field of view, which is zooming in and out. Don't really need to change that. Yaw is moving it left and right. Pitch is going to move it up and down. And roll is rotating it. But mainly I'm going to just move this to the bottom so it's minus 90 degrees and now we can see it here on the bottom. We've already added a grade with uh, film convert which is much easier and really quick to do. So now we are going to render this. We're going to press key on our keyboard either control M or command M on the windows. So now here I actually have a preset that you can download uh, so you directly have the proper settings. So even though uh, you have options of 
rendering it in DNxHR or ProRes uh, for YouTube. However, I've tested those, but the processing time takes forever. H.264 is much faster and it would be like literally almost instantly viewable in VR. And uh, yeah, the settings that you would need to do or set yourself is uh, make sure it's the correct resolution. It's, this is literally the biggest resolution you can get. So it's not going to be e even bigger than this. So the 4992 of the GoPro version would not be used. So this one is the final video that I've uploaded was actually a ProRes video in uh, the 4992. And you can see the biggest resolution is not 5.2K, it's still 4K. So you guys can just use 4K instead. And here we're going to choose also change this bitrate to 150, which is the recommended bitrate for 4K VR. You can go to maximum of 350, but then you get really ridiculous large sizes because this already is four gigabytes and 150, uh, yeah, for a four minute video is already this huge. So if you have like a half an hour of a video, uh, that would be really a crazy big video file. So another thing you want to tick on is vid video is VR and change this to monoscopic. Audio is AAC and pretty much these settings. And then just export it. So once you have rendered with Premiere Pro, you need to go to this website and download a software here. So this for Mac and this for Windows. And I've already opened and installed this. So you will use this spatial media metadata injector and pretty much only tick this one on top, press open and then search for the video file. And here we have this and then press open and pretty much press inject metadata and it will add like the data for it to become a 360 video. What it will do is add some codes to your video file. So it's uh, actually recognizable as a 360 video by YouTube and it will uh, make a video file next to your video. So it will have like the name injected, uh, added to the name, but uh, you need to wait for it to say that it's uh, finished or successfully finished and then upload this video with the injected to YouTube. So now you can upload the injected video to YouTube. You don't need to change any special settings on uh, YouTube itself. It will just automatically change it to VR. Just upload it like any other video onto YouTube. So I hope you guys find this video quite interesting and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please hit the subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. See you guys the next time. Bye bye.